I'm a Florida native, uh, pretty much raised here on Miami Beach, and uh, I work in pastels, that's my medium, and I only do originals, so they're all one of a kind. And I like to think of them as uh, tropical, uh, realistic, and mostly of our own backyard, what sure. I like to think of South Florida environment. Um, so my things are uh, things that I like, right. things that I've had around me, uh, whether it's the mangoes or the coconuts or you know other tropical fruit. I do a lot of the Everglades. Like this show allows you to set up on Friday. So we sure. all set up on Friday, but some shows you have to set up the same day and you're there at like 4.30 in the morning right. and right. you're like exhausted by 12. So every show has its little quirk, but um, there is a lot. You have to, you know, know your market. You right. have to have your stuff together. You can't, if you're here out of town, you can't, oh, I forgot, and you have exactly. to run back to your right. studio. Exactly. You know, ready to go. Right. You just never know what's going to happen. Even the weather, you know, sometimes. It's you, unpredictable. Lo it there's a, a lot of, um, yes, you have to kind of wing it. So, do you have people that help you with your administrative uh, no. tasks? You do it all yourself, the I computer, do. the whole thing. Yeah, the I mean, there's. Photographing. Yes, mm -hmm. I do myself. Um, but there is, you know, again, like anything else, you have all types of scenarios. Do you prefer you working large? Yourself. I do, as you can see. I mean, but it's it's also really hard to move these things around. Right. right. And also to sell because they're more expensive pieces. I only do originals. I do everything museum framing. It's, you know, all hand carved frames. I try to frame them. Right so that you're not going to go home and throw it away exactly because you know they're pastels right. and you don't want people handling them right.